Kerala Blasters are a very popular club not just in India but in the entire of Asia as well. Despite all the popularity, the club is yet to win any domestic trophy. Although it came close to finishing 3 times as the runners up in the ISL final, the Blasters have also failed to qualify for the ISL playoffs on 5 occasions and the lowest was in the 2021 season when it had finished in the 10th place out of the 11 teams. Over the years the club appeared to be very unstable and the team's performance were inconsistent. But all of that changed when the Blasters took the mighty decision of appointing Carolus Kinkis. Carolus with all his expertise and knowledge brought stability to the club and fans could observe a long-term vision in whatever decisions were made. Also, along with that the results in the team's performance and an attractive brand of play are visible. Hence for the first time in their history Kerala Blasters qualified for the ISL playoffs consecutively. So the question is how Skinkes changed the club's fortune. To answer this question, we need to look back at Kerala Skinkes's Blasters evolution. Kerala Skinkes has more than half a decade of experience in the role of the sporting director of FK Suduva, a top division club in Lithuania. Kerolis brought with him a wealth of knowledge and expertise to his new club. Under his guidance, the club rose to the top of the Lithuanian league in 2017, 2018 and 2019 qualifying for the following year's UEFA Champions League for the first time in history. Kerolis Kinkis was appointed as the Blasters' new sporting director in March 2020. The first season wasn't that good. Although the signings were top quality in terms of foreigners, Fitness was an issue as it was during the pandemic time. Spanish coach Kibu Vicuna was sacked mid-season after a poor run of results and on came assistant manager Ishfaq Ahmed as the interim manager. At the end of 2020-21 season, the team finished disastrously 10th on the league table and it was announced that all 6 foreign players were to be released along with 5 Indian players. Ahead of the 21-22 season, Carolis and his team were in search of a coach who can become a mainstay at the club and won't have to leave at the end of the season just like the predecessors who had a poor record over the years for instance from the club's inception in 2014 till 21 approximately 8 seasons there were 9 managers and 2 interim managers who were at the helm of managing the club after a long hunt serbian tactician ivan vukomanovic was appointed as the head coach of the team ivan had the experience of working as the head coach of the Belgian top division league side Standard Liège in the past. He has also worked in Cyprus and Slovakia. Although he is Serbian by birth, he has received most of his life in Belgium. Soon it was followed by the signing of experienced and top quality foreigners like Adrian Luna, Marko Leskovic, Alvaro Vasquez, and George Pereira Diaz. Enes Sipovic and Chencho Giltishen who had expertise in India before were also brought in along with the host of Indian youngsters such as Vinci Barreto, Ruiva Hormipam and Sanjeev Stalin. In the 21-22 season, although the Durand Cup wasn't a great turnout for the Blasters as they bowed out in the group stages, the team had performed exceptionally well when they were compared to the previous seasons in the Hero ISL. Having finished 4th in the regular season, the team qualified for the playoffs and defeated the recently crowned ISL League Shield winners Jamshedpur FC on their road to the ISL final where they fought bravely till the end of the game but lost out on the penalties to eventual champions Hyderabad FC. After the success of the first season, Blasters extended the contract of coach Ivan Vukomanovic till 2025. and for the first time in the club's history he became the only coach to be retained for more than one season along with ivan midfield maestro luna and defensive wall leskovic were retained the remaining four foreign players were roped in subsequently by other clubs on a free transfer they were replaced strategically at the club by australian striker apostolos gianu greek forward dimitros demantakos spanish defender victor mongin and ukrainian midfielder Ivan Kalyushnye among the Indian players Bryce Miranda Saurav Mandal and Danish Farooq Bhatt were brought in all the recruitments were very effective once again as the blasters reached the playoffs for two successive seasons for the first time in history at the time of making this video in 46 competitive games Ivan had the best win percentage 46 followed by English coaches Steve Coppell and David James 
who have a win percentage of 41% and 35% respectively. Carolus Kinkis has done impressive work in selecting the manager as well as in the transfer market. Kerala Blasters has handed him a contract extension that will keep him in charge of the Blasters as their sporting director till the year 2028. Another area where SD Carolus has focused on improving since he came in charge was the club's youth department. Or in other words, building an elite youth academy to increase the emphasis on youngsters in the first team and also open an origin of talent production. Although there was a reserve side earlier, it wasn't taken good care of or nurtured properly and seriously. But after joining hands with Kerala government and getting exposure to top-notch training facilities that were given more importance from the 2021 season. Former coach Kibu Vikuna's assistant, Tomas Torsh, was appointed as the coach of the reserve side. The team participated in the State League or the Kerala Premier League and won the title. After that, they also took part in the inaugural edition of the Reliance Football Development League in 2022 and finished runners-up to qualify for the next-gen cup in the United Kingdom. That was not the end of it. The side even featured in the 2022 Durand Cup and went on to the quarterfinals. If we talk about the finances, the club is doing pretty well in that department too. As per reports by popular journalist Marcus Margulau, the Blasters are on the right track with the previous season's collections and they might become the first ISL team to break even. A lot of that has become true due to the solid all-round performance in the ISL season, along with the sponsorships, match day ticket sales, club merchandise and even the player transfers for which the club received a fee played a role. Now it will be for all of us to see how the Kerala Blasters perform in the remainder of the season and if they can finally claim their first major trophy this year itself. Don't forget to share your thoughts and opinions with us below on if KBFC can get their hands on silverware this season or will the wait continue. Thank you for watching the video.